All right, folks, today we're going to talk about this Lingdu LD06 in car dash cam. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox it. I know this is out of the box, but I'm going to unbox the rest of this stuff, show you what's inside the box. Then I'm going to talk about all the different capabilities that this little thing has packed inside of it. Then I will install the app, and then I'll install the entire system in the car, make sure it works, and then I'll go out there and videotape driving around and I'll show you that uh, video so you can discern from yourself what the video looks like and then at the end I'll give it a review all right so something really cool about the unit it provides IMX 415 technology and that is 8 megapixel wide angle minimum optical distortion high definition video okay so let's uh, unbox this thing bam okay this is what's in the box it comes with the Lingdu 06 main unit front camera comes with an extra you know little 3m sticky comes with a 12 foot power cord that is USB C to USB A coming from the unit down to this adapter right here it goes into your cigarette lighter to power the unit comes with five of these clips for cable management comes with this tool here, the cable tool to push it up, push the cables up into the overhead. It comes with two electromagnetic stickers and I'll show you what that does later. And of course the user's manual. And one thing I don't want to forget, it comes with this 64 gigabyte micro SD card right here. And I'll show you more about this later. So that is everything that comes in the box. Now let me tell you about the different capabilities of this unit. So the front camera, you see right here, and I'll, I'll have to take this little sticker off, but if you look at the back, there's no screen in the back. Usually a lot of uh, dash cams have screens that you can see or look at you know, in the back, but this does not. It has a couple of lights over here, and I tell you, I'll tell you what they mean in a little bit once we install the app and everything. Um, underneath, over here you have, this uh, turns on and off your voice control. And right here is a little reset button. On this side, you have the power, which is a USB-C. And then you have the slot for the micro SD card. Okay, so that's most everything you need to know about the main unit. I believe this is the um, internal GPS as well. So this unit provides you 150 degree field of view. It gives you a lot of open area out in front of you that it videotapes. Um, it also works in extreme temperatures, anywhere from a negative four up to 158 degrees. Uh, the unit has loop recording. So what that means is while it's recording on your micro SD card, once the oldest videos get to the end and it needs more room, it'll start writing over those oldest videos, leave the newest ones for you, okay? It also has the internal GPS, like I told you earlier, and what this does is it provides you your location, uh, how fast you're going, and it'll also allow you to track the route in the software, okay? It has G-Sensor, and what this does, this capability allows, like if, you're, if you make a hard turn, or if you have to stop really hard, or if you get in an accident, God forbid, um, it will pull that file and place it into its own file folder and it will not be written over. Uh, it has 5G Wi-Fi, okay? So this gives you a nice connectivity to your cell phone. Um, it allows you to download video really quickly if you need to. Um, another thing uh, you can do is change dash cam settings with it through the, through the 5G Wi-Fi. Um, you can view, view videos, download and share the videos through the um, Lingdu app, okay? Uh, it has voice control. Uh, this in-car dash cam supports several different voice commands. You can say, you know, start recording, stop recording. It allows you, you know, to just drive around hands-free. Just comes with this 64 gigabyte micro SD card. And let me tell you about that real quick. If you look at the picture here on the left, XCI, and this means extended capacity interface which is used for full HD quality video on portable data storage up to 104 megabytes per second and then on the right 
course the capacity uh, 64 gigabytes and then the U and 3 on the lower right this means the micro SD card has ultra high speed needed to write 30 megabytes per second to the disk all in all this means that the micro SD card should be able to record up to 5k resolution something good to know about the unit is it will accept up to 256 gigabyte micro SD card it comes with a 64 gigabyte which gives you around four hours of video but a 256 gigabyte micro SD card will give you up to 16 hours of video on your micro SD card. Another capability is the 24 hour parking surveillance mode. So this gives you a parking monitor, kind of a collision detection if someone bumps into you in the garage, it'll video, it'll start videotaping. Gives you time, lot, time lapse parking mode, which is uh, really interesting. It'll provide you 24 hours of time lapse video. If you want to do that overnight. The one thing this does need is a hardware kit if you do that and I'll give you that information right here. Okay it has night vision it has a wide dynamic range WDR and it has this Sony Starvis technology which improves the uh, camera image quality at night and in different contrasts when it goes from bright to dark uh, kind of in between okay it provides details you need at night okay there is a 12 month warranty 24 7 hour technical support at service at lingdu.us all right so the next thing i'll do is install the app for this and then i'll install the unit in the car all right let's go all right so we'll bring the manual over to page 14 and this is where you get your um qr code Got the phone here. All right, let's go with our phone over here and click on the QR code. I'm gonna download the app, open the app. Now it wants me to use my location. I'll say allow while using the app. Now it's logging into my Wi-Fi. What I'll do now is plug in and turn on the unit itself. And I'll take off this uh, little plastic piece over the top. It's talking about formatting wi and recording has started. The Wi-Fi is on. And now down here is asking, video. asking me to connect. See, so I will connect, join, connect into Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connect success. And allow it. There we go. It's connecting. And there's the video. So that's. You can see the basement there. Moving it around so you can see it live. Okay. Then you have um, dash cam albums. You have to stop recording first, so stop. Look at dash cam albums. And then you have event folder, normal folder, and then photo. Okay, go back. It's going to start the re recording again. So you have to stop the recording before recording you stopped. before you go into settings. And here are the settings. So let's let's go over those. All right, the first one's video resolution. Hopefully you can see this. And I'm going to go to the highest one, which is should be 5K. Then loop recording, and what I want for this is to loop record every three minutes. Audio recording on. G sensor is at medium. I like to go to low because I don't want it going off all the time. Parking mode, I can't use that. I don't have a hardware kit. Volume at medium, I'm going to go to low because it's pretty loud. <clears throat> Voice control, I'll have that on. Voice commands, tells you about those here. Open recording, take a picture, lock the video. Fatigue driver reminder, it's off right now. You can set it to every one hour, two hours, and four hours. I'm gonna leave mine off. Um, frequency is 60 hertz, that's normal in the US. 50 hertz, I think, is over in Europe. The date time format, month, day, year, I'll leave it at that. Doesn't really matter to me. S speed units, kilometers, or miles per hour, I'll leave it at miles per hour. Boot ringtone, um, I'm going to turn that off. And GPS info, 
that's fine. That'll that'll load as we get GPS. Format reminder every 30 days. Not a big deal. Video stamps. Do I want date time video? video I'll leave it on. Let's see. Time zone says UTC seven. Ours should be UTC five. East Coast. And here's the SD card information. If I want to format it, I can format it. Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, default settings, and firmware version. So that's all you get in the settings, all right? And that is your app. Now let's go up and install this bad boy. All right, I'm up in the Jeep. I have the main unit here. I'll set it right here. I've got the manual up here. I wanted to talk to you about those lights on the back of the main unit and what they meant. Okay, you'll have the main unit facing you like this and it'll be stuck to the window by this 3M sticky right here. Uh, and what you'll see are these two areas right here, there'll be lights. And if it's flashing blue over here once a second, that means it's recording video. But let me tell you the rest of what you may see here. Because you have a blue light over here and a red light over here. It says red indicator light if it's flashing, it indicates damaged memory card. Solid light indicates memory card reset or format. Solid red light. A red and blue indicator light. So if they're alternating flashing red and blue, it's doing an emergency recording or like a, there's a G sensor recording going on because there's an emergency. Simultaneous flashing of both lights means an upgrade is in progress. So the blue indicator light, like I said before, uh, flashing once per second means you're recording. If it's a solid blue light, it means that it's downloading information. Okay, just wanted you guys to know that. Let's get going to, with the install. Set this up here. And what I've done is the electrostatic tape, they give you such a large piece. I just cut it in half and I'm just gonna use this piece right here. And what I do is, you peel this off. See that right there? And I, f I fold one end, the lower, usually the lower right. I fold it under itself and attach it right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it, I'll put it like right here and what it'll do is kind of form itself to the windshield itself. And what that allows you to do is later on, when I want to take this unit off, I'll just pull here and it'll take this whole thing off with no problem. The 3M sticky, if I didn't have that, this 3M, 3M stick tape would just, you know, almost cement itself to the windshield and you have, it'd take a lot more effort to get it off. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and so, the micro SD card is already in it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put it up here. And press it on. Move the camera down a little bit. You're supposed to hold this for about 20 seconds. All right, there we go. And I moved it down a little bit further. So, but we'll be able to look in the app to see exactly where it's pointing. Next thing I'm going to do is unravel this a little bit. All right, I've got some of it untangled. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this back up and hang it down there. Press this up in here. What you see here, plug it in right there. And it goes up over this way, down back here behind my rear view mirror, and then down here. It's going to go right here. Then I'm going to plug this right in there. Okay. So that's kind of how I'm going to do it just for this install. Should be powered on. Recording started. Wi Fi is on. Okay. You see the blinking every one second? That means it's recording. So let me open the app and see what it looks like. Okay, here's the app right here. My phone. Let's see if we can look at real time Wi Fi. Okay, 
So there you go. You can see what it's looking at. Let's see, I think. Okay, that's the hood of the car. You can go up a little bit. I think that's good right there. That's what it's going to look like. And the next thing I'll do is drive around and get some video. All right, let's go. So there you go. I hope you got a good look at the video. Here's my review, okay? Um, I'm going to say the video is good. I would say it's great quality, but I did notice um, at the left end of the video, it was kind of out of focus. Uh, I, did know, I do know that the lens was clean because I cleaned it myself. I even reduced it down to 4K and checked that format, and it still had um, the out of focus part on the lower or the left-hand side of the video. It may be a one-off to the unit that I received, but um, if there wasn't that little bit of issue, I'd say the video was great. So um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Maybe there's other videos that uh, the, the video streaming looks great. Uh, I do know that also for, for the good, it's uh, easy to set up and install. Um, it didn't take me long at all to do that. Um, things I need to work on, um, is that little blue flashing light at night it's very bright and if you have your dash cam kind of up it's, it's almost in your face uh, if you have your dash cam over and maybe your uh, rearview mirror is covering it and it doesn't bother you but if there's a way to reduce the light at night um, that's something that would be a good thing all right uh, overall it's a good dash camera um, like I said easy to install easy to get up and running uh, and it uh, you know gives you really good video. Okay, if you guys like the video, please go ahead and click like. And we're going to keep making these videos. I have another dash cam coming, and I'll make another video in a couple of weeks. So go ahead and subscribe. We have a lot of fun uh, making these videos, and uh, I enjoy you guys watching. I appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a great day. All right, goodbye.